If you've been following Windows 8 at all, you know that one of the biggest gripes people have with it is that they took away the start menu and they added the start screen, which now covers up the entire screen with apps and a search menu instead of just showing the start menu in the one corner. This is totally different from every recent previous version of Windows and a lot of people find it inconvenient and clunky, especially on desktops. I'm of the same opinion. I think on a tablet, Windows 8 can work. Because a desktop interface on a tablet would be hard to press different buttons because it's too small, but the start screen is a lot easier to press with your finger and it's more geared towards touch screens. But on a desktop, it's very clunky, inconvenient. You have to move your mouse so much farther. The start menu I like to have is just you click the button, I have all my favorite programs pinned, I can instantly go to Notepad or Google Chrome. With the start menu, it takes a little bit longer to show up. I might have to move my mouse a lot further just to start finding the program I want to launch. It's a lot tougher to use. But Microsoft said that they were going to fix the problem that most people were having. So they decided in Windows 8.1, they're going to add back the start button. Except they just added the button. They didn't add back the start menu that everyone wanted back. They totally missed the point of all the complaints. People weren't complaining that they wanted the start button. They wanted the start menu. You should definitely have the option whether you can use the start menu or the start screen. I don't know why Microsoft is trying to force the start screen onto desktop users especially, because most people hate it. I can understand wanting the same user interface on tablets and desktops to keep it universal, but it's just inconvenient for the user when you try to force it on it when it doesn't work. I have a huge monitor. It's 2560 by 1440. I do not need the entire screen covered with massive tiles to click on. I use Windows 7 right now and I have used Windows 8. I didn't like it. I'm not going to upgrade if I don't have to. If I got a tablet, I probably wouldn't mind using it. I'll say that. But on a desktop, it's just not feasible for me. I'm sure there's a lot of you that like Windows 8 and there's probably a lot that also do not like it. But the problem is a lot of people are going to go into 8.1 thinking that the start button is going to add back the start menu and that's not true. I hope at least in the next full version of Windows they're going to do something different because the start screen in its existing condition is just not working for desktops. So let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment. Are you using Windows 8? Are you going to upgrade to Windows 8.1? Do you like it on a tablet or a desktop? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. and. Also like the video and share it with your friends to get the conversation going a little bit more. And be sure to subscribe because I try to make videos every week. You can like me on Facebook and all that other social media stuff down in the description. And thanks for watching.